So I'm going to test uh, this uh, make video and um, talk to you a little bit about the development of this uh, particular piece. Um, actually, a friend uh, suggested uh, they sent me a, a photograph of this Siberian Husky, and there's something really uh, unique about this uh, animal. Um, it's icy, staring glare. Um, you know, it's a very unique uh, animal. Uh, it can handle the cold really, really well. It has multiple layers of fur. And I'm still working on that too. Uh, right now, um, I've, I've been putting the layers on with a palette knife and then a hair structure uh, and building it up in the same way that uh, nature would have uh, done it in the first place. Um, I use in the background here what I call this antiquing process. Uh, it's layers and layers of paint. Kind of give you the effect um, the same way that you've see, probably seen an old piece of antique furniture uh, with different layers of um, uh, paint and if you rub it off you'll you'll see all these uh, different stages that that, that that piece of furniture has gone through and that's the kind of effect that, that uh, I have here in the background. It's a little more muted. Uh, the animal of course is going to pop off uh, this canvas in more of a 3D fashion. Um, and it's probably, you know, I'm thinking probably about four hours away from completion. Uh, I've got some more work to do on detailing the hair and, uh, and, and getting the thickness of the paint so that you can actually feel, uh, you know, feel some sort of 3D textured quality here. The other piece that I have left to do, I, I literally have to finish off the sky. You're not going to see a sky that, that, that's that perfectly blue. Uh, it's, I'm going to ice it up a little bit and uh, then a little bit more detailing left to do around the nose. And I think that's perfect. Um, it's an interesting character. I mean, he's looking straight at you and into your soul. It's kind of neat. They're uh, Siberian Huskies. They've been around for a long, long time, and there's some, you know, multiple variations of them now. But one of the things that stayed, stayed fast and and true with them is that they are total workhorses. They are the ultimate friend to have uh, in the Arctic, or for that matter, anywhere else you're going in the, you know, in a snow trek of some sort. Anyway. Um, hope you've enjoyed the conversation and hope to have more conversations like this about some of the other work uh, as it develops. Thanks. Take care.